Good afternoon, beautiful people. It's Lydia Diamond, the community matriarch, the family matriarch, and a local resident in the state of Vermont. I live in South Burlington. I've been around for a while. Been in Vermont 30 years. Yay! So I guess I'm a Vermonter. I'm here today to talk about tea talk. When I say tea talk, I mean a wealth of information. And I want to celebrate being first. For me, being first means being the first black female to run for South Burlington City Council. Now, I didn't win the first time, and I didn't win the second time. But I promised to win the third time. I'm excited about being first because it means cracking the ceiling of oppression. And we need to crack it more. I'm excited that we get to make history with our first female American born president. I'm so excited, so thankful, overjoyed. I want to talk about some local firsts, first women. First governor to run for the state of Vermont is Esther Charleston. I would love to have some tea talk with Esther. First female mayor in Burlington is EMS, Emma Mulvaney Stanick. First female president, I mean, first female mayor of Burlington, Vermont. There's a lot of tea to talk about. And so I'd love to invite others as well, like um, Kesha Ram Hinsdale, um, Saudia Lamont. Oh, Mia Schultz of the Vermont Truth and Reconciliation Commission, which is huge, historical, first female. I'm excited and I wanna welcome all my friends to come to the tea talk table and have a little conversation with me. I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you so much. So today I want to talk about how a tea talk came about. And it started with the Olympics because I am a hip hop for life. A cultural advocate. I love hip hop. It runs in my family. We go back to day one. But the Olympics this year was hilarious with what they call breaking. Now, breaking, and I'm from Brooklyn, so I know a little something. Breaking is a part of hip hop. And the B-boys back home in Brooklyn they were authentic, original, and powerful. Now, I can't tell you what the Olympics thought they were doing, and I'm not trying to tear down the lady from Australia that they called the winner, I guess, but she was hilarious. And hip-hop culture comes from black folks. Let's just keep it real. And you cannot touch hip hop the way we do because hip hop is a lifestyle. Hip hop uh, just celebrated its 51st birthday. Yes, I was born in 63. Hip hop was born in 73. I'm born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, and I love seeing real culture. And the Olympics, they, they, whatever committee they have, they need some help because they missed the mark of what breaking and where breaking comes from. They missed it all together. Breaking is just one part of hip hop. And we got B-boys and B-girls and the history is real and you need to embrace that history if you want to be taken seriously 
there was a lot of laughter around the Olympics. And that's where T-Talk come from. Because we were, my brother was sitting with a cup of tea trying to explain to folks the history of hip hop breaking and the culture. And black folks just can't be touched when it comes to this particular genre of music. And it's, as well as the dance part. I would love to be able to bring the art of hip hop to the state of Vermont because there's a lot of tea surrounding that. Good tea, authentic tea, original tea. So I hope folks would be interested in that as well because there's a lot of wealth of information to share. That's where, that's what I call the 411. And here's to you, hip hop. Happy belated birthday. Happy 51 years. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So come and have a little tea talk with Lydia because there's a lot to cover. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's tea talk. Tea talk is also political, you know, because when I think in terms of being first to crack the ceiling of oppression, I think of myself when I ran, ran for South Burlington City Council. And I did it twice, but no one was impressed or I wasn't celebrated. But I celebrated me because I'm always busy making my ancestors proud. And I want folks to get out there and vote, vote, vote. I love how the Democratic Party of uh, Biden and Kamala, I love the strategy that they did where Biden stepped down and Kamala stepped up because that was a good sucker punch for Trump with his terrible, he's like a terrible two-year-old. You just can't satisfy. But I'm so excited to be alive and to be a black woman and to make sure to help Kamala crack the ceiling of oppression because we've had enough of that. And also, I love other women who are stepping up to crack that oppression ceiling even more. I love that Emma Mulvaney Stanek won mayor of Burlington. Sorry, Joan. I love that Esther Charleston, one of my Emerge sisters, has stepped up to run for governor. And give Scott, who they say is the most famous governor in the country, give him a run for his money because he could step down and let Esther take over. It's time. Black women are rising everywhere. BIPOC women, women of color, um, LGBTQIA women. We are all stepping up because it's our turn. Tea talk, it's our turn. It's our turn to make this country better than it's ever been before. How about that? That's what I'm looking forward to. My granddaughters don't have a lot of, of the opportunities and the resources that I grew up with. Yes, I'm talking about the right to make a decision concerning their own bodies. But we're going to fix that too. We're not going back, we're going forward. We're taking back everything that we deserve and are entitled to. And I'm very thankful to CCTV for allowing me to have this conversation with you, with others, and I'm excited for Tea Talk. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got a long list of first, first women. Oh, I didn't talk about Becca Balance. She's another first. And I'm looking forward to having some Tea Talk with her. April Fisher. Um, 
Grace Ahmed, Kaya Morris, Zariah Hightower. A lot of these women have been first to step up in a role where no person of color, no woman of color, you know, no LGBTQ. We are stepping up to take over and knock the bejesus out of that ceiling of oppression. So if you're interested in joining me for some tea talk, let us know.